collectively, we can uh, watch what is uh, happening in, uh, in citizens like us during a uh, um, conflict to time, like uh, during a uh, protest time uh, or uh, electoral campaign uh, or um, during a government crisis uh, or any other moment that uh, in uh, your nation may be considered as a crisis when uh, some bad actor want to influence the perception. By doing a collaborative analysis, we can see what actually is happening uh, on um, our timelines and try to figure out how personalized and differentiated is this perception. Because that's the problem. If you are a knowledgeable person, let's say you have a university degree, uh, you study, you are informed in politics and in uh, foreign um, uh, states or uh, whatever, your timeline is likely more accurate than what is happening to people that are uh, less dedicated themselves to study or have a less tool to do critical judgment and to filter their own timeline. Uh, and even if uh, you have all this skill, you may not have all the time to actually review and uh, verify if the news are accurate or not. By doing a, col a collective analysis, we can uh, observe what is happening and then do a more accurate research in order to complain to Facebook or to other judicial authority why that is wrong. We can even reuse the data that have been collected and try to serve them outside of Facebook in order to don't let the citizen be surveilled by the system when they want to access to the information.